Hey, uh, everyone. Uh, good to have you on the channel here. Listen, um, I want to talk to you about, people talk to me about, about they, have a, they always call me about comps. We'll just value this out. See I'm trying to get to with comps. No one right now. Redfin or uh, with Zillow, you know, truly none of these are, are as effective. I don't care what, maybe some software you bought, prop stream or whatever. Is not as effective as the MLS. That's the way it goes. Okay. We'll maybe have a whole new video on that. But suffice to say, trust me, you want to have the epistemological standard for, that's right, I said epistemological, uh, for, for values in real estate. Okay. MLS. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now listen, assume you do that. Okay. That, that's important. I want to talk to you about house values, okay? People ask me about this a lot. Well, I have an old house and it's, you know, you know, I have a house and it's XYZ, you know, it's 2,000 square feet on a quarter acre with a garage, okay? Well, that's, that's great. Okay, that's good information. But what is it really that you need for, a, for comps? Okay, I'm going to tell you some of the big ones, okay? And, and on MLS, it has that information, which is really important for you to understand. As a database, you can kind of narrow some of these things, okay? But, but the, what you want to be looking at is it's not just raw square footage, okay? Because not all square footage is created equal, okay? What do I mean by that? Okay, so when you look at a house, they have just a, a, a you know, 2,000 square foot house. It's, it's uh, you, look at, you look at the comps of things, uh, and it's, you know, 100 bucks, $150 a square foot, okay? Now, you're looking at other properties similar to this one. So if you, if you want to get a true comp, you want to look at properties that are all single level square footage. Does that make sense? Now, one of the things that people make a mistake is, uh, is doing what I did when I first started. When I, you know, I don't know, a while back, and I, you know, a long time ago. But I, I first started and I had, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a HUD property. Remember HUD? I mean, I just still have HUD. But anyway, uh, at the time I was buying HUDs because that's another video. But the point is, so I had this house and I, I drive out there and it was a 2,000 square foot house. It was a nice house, whatever. But the, here's the problem with the house. I looked at the, it was a 2,000 square foot house. So I'm looking at comps on other 2,000 square foot houses. The problem is the comps I was looking for, folks, were single level uh, 2,000 square foot house. My property, subject property was, thousand foot above ground and thousand foot below ground and so i mistakenly being naive and an idiot i got another video about me being an idiot you can watch again because you know i have made mistakes and that's why i would do these videos i don't want you to do the same ones okay so just trust me upstairs above ground one level of square footage value is a lot different than basement square footage i always thought basements are cool you know whatever as a kid cruising around in there and over there hide and seek and stuff but apparently they suck as far as comps. <laughs> That's just reality, right? Hey, I didn't say I didn't make that up. Not my fault. That's what the market says, right? I'm not video about that market. The market tells you what to do, not you. You can say, "Listen here, market. I like basements, right?" And if I was, if it was me, I'd buy it. Well, you know what? The market says, "You know what? You're a moron. We don't care." The market yawns at you. Right, so the market is dictate. So what I'm trying to say is, the square footage below ground is a lot different than basement square footage is a lot different than above ground, and also two story square footage. Right, a lot of baby boomers they have bad knees and so forth. They don't want to have square footage. <coughs> you know, they don't want second story. Okay, the value isn't this hot. Okay, another thing about this square footage wise, where's the master bedroom? Okay, is it upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs, the value isn't, isn't as much because older folks don't want to go up those stairs and have their master bedroom. Hey, my master bedroom is upstairs, and trust me, man, trying to bring a master, all the stuff up there, it was not fun. Well, trust me. It was, yeah, it's, it, it is a pain. It is a straight pain to try and bring all these, you know, crap upstairs, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say. Square footage above ground. I'm in second story, right? Third story, whatever, is not the same value as square footage on single level. Does that make sense? So just know that these these kinds of things can really help you when you're getting started. So you want to know what do you mean by square footage? Is it above ground, below ground, right? 
Is, is it two story, second, third story even? Okay. Um, so these are, these, are, these are really important. Maybe, maybe and I, I've, I've had square footage where it's like a mother-in-law quarters that's separate from the house. Let me tell you right now, man. I mean, that's, that's, I've done that before, believe me. But, it, you know, finished the old shop into a mother-in-law's quarters. But appraisers are going to say, nope, sorry, you lose. We're cool because we're appraisals and you suck because you just are because we know better, right? And they win because <laughs> they set the rules. That's a, another video. No, whatever. Uh, but they set the rules. So that doesn't work. Square footage does not work. You can't have separate living quarters and add it as square footage, okay? By technically, you might be able to do it. But as far as financing it, FHA uh, and, and, you know, your investor overlay guidelines are going to say, damn, we're not, yeah, not going to do it. So uh, just know that. That's, 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 that's really important. Okay, and also, like, you want to know the age of the house. You know, age of the house is really, really, really important. Because it changes, you know, older the house, the, the less value it is. So I hope this helps. I really want you to be wise when you do your comps. Don't be like, be like me on that deal thinking I had the square footage was, you know, fantastic uh, when half of it was underground. You know, it just it, it doesn't work, okay? Um, just be wise. Get So how, what's takeaways in this video? Number one, walk of wisdom. Two. Get your comps in MLS. Three, realize that not all square footage is the same, okay? Basement is not the same value as above ground, okay? Two-story, second-story, third-story, not the same as straight, you know, above ground, okay? So, uh, if you like this video, hit like down here. Say you like what we're doing. More videos coming your way. Um, and you can always call me if you have any questions. I'm here. I mean. You know, I got the answers for you. Don't give up. Keep hustling. Be wise in how you do this. Okay, that's why I make these videos. That I want you to make the same mistakes as I did when I started. Is man, trust me, it's no fun. But you can do it. You can do it. Keep the hustle up. God bless. Talk to you soon. Cheers.